Grant Burns, Chaos in Design, five tracks for 22 minutes, the debut solo album from the Mason guitarist, uh, released July 2019 mm. via Rue Morgue Records. Mm. I think this was self-produced, though I am happy to be corrected on that one. Uh, one promo track has been released in uh, Creation of a New World. This album came about after it did a video when he was trying to sell a guitar. And, oh, right. and that video went really, really well. And so it was like, okay, I've got a few songs. And he just had the idea born of that to, to go and do it. And this one got our attention predominantly after, or my attention anyway, after Grant did an in store appearance at Old Cole. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So that would have been pretty cool to be at. So I'm sorry I missed that one. Go for it. Me? Cool. Either. Either. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't long into I was doing a few reviews in a row and it didn't have to get very far into this track for me to go hang on a minute start this again <laughs> I've got to listen to this properly that fresh um, palette yeah, yeah I'm sort of like, hang on who the fuck is this guy yeah. uh, guitarist from Ace right okay this is all starting to make a bit more sense now <laughs> um, this album is in beast mode from start to finish mm-hmm. um, if you don't like the shred don't stay away, stay away. <laughs> if you do like the shred please continue um <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mistaken, though, this is not just an album of musical masturbation. There's a no. lot of thought and mm. care has gone into the way it's done. It's melodic, it's heavy, and it's fucking masterful. Um, even if this is not your style, it's hard to imagine someone couldn't appreciate this on some level. Oh, yeah. Because it is just... And it's not hard to take in. It's not even no, hard to listen to. A lot of this stuff I can't listen to in, in you know, for any great length of time. I had no problem sitting there through this mm. whole album and enjoyed it thoroughly. I thought it was absolutely insane. Beautifully composed. It made me happy in pants. Um, <laughs> I give it a 9 out of 10. That was amazing. The highlights of the whole damn thing because I don't think there's a low light on it. No, so yeah, it yeah, just yeah. works. I loved it. At long last, a good instrumental album. Yeah. Mm. Nina Strauss, pay a fucking attention. <laughs> Dave's going to hate you for that. Yeah, yeah I agree uh, with it's you. It's better than Nina Strauss's album. It's no a fucking long way better than Nina yeah. Strauss's album. And that's not... No, but there's a reason for that. This is not guitar karaoke. That's no. the point. This is actually sitting songs. down and writing songs mm. that make sense yeah. and that keep you interested as a, mm. as a listener. Mm-hmm. There's a push and pull involved and there's a story. And no shitty backing tracks. No. Is, uh, there's a story being told... Yeah. Yeah. Without lyrics, yes, and that's 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 what you need as a listener to keep you interested, and that's the whole reason why you do listen. Yeah. Um, as been covered, ripping guitar solos. I loved everything about this. This is actually, yeah, one of the better instrumental albums I've heard in a really long time. I struggle with these ones traditionally. I didn't struggle with this one. Yeah, um, synthetic evolution was my highlight, an eight and a half out of ten. Cool. Nice. First off, great artwork. Fuck, it's cool. That might well be my artwork for the year. Uh, beyond that, I am very cautious about solo guitar albums because they're usually a miss with me. Uh, happy to say this is not the case. Uh, this is very cool. Probably more of an EP due to its length than an album, but we'll go with album because that's not being called. But this is completely composed songs that build and dip very nicely. Either he's got one hell of a drum program or this is an actual drummer playing on these ones and fuck, it's cool. Uh, beyond that, the bass and the rhythm guitar give the platform for the lead guitar to do its thing, which is to tell a story. No words, but you get a journey out of listening to this. There are hooks, structured songs. This is one of those cases where the lead guitar takes the spotlight, but it's not going over the top. This is not wankery. This is composition. It's a little bit of wankery, but... But it works. Like, I don't mind showing off in context yeah. when it's nothing but showing off fuck off <laughs> it just it irks the fuck out of me I, I put these on with these albums on with so much trepidation I always sit there and go fuck I'm dreading putting these on because they're usually shit and I know that all the guitar heads out there are going to go yeah, but it's it's just not good to listen to from a from a just a observational listening point of view it's like how am I going to get into this when I don't give a fuck about the minor seventh melodian fuck off like I don't give a shit I was was never a lead guitarist I was always a rhythm guitarist Mm. and that the the lead guitarist and go and you know have a pretend wank on stage and do your thing I don't give a fuck about any of that I want well structured songs and that's what's on this it's Mm. very well done I love the overall flow on this the production is very cool on this it's very angry for a positive review (laughs) because he's working through some stuff (laughs) I get so fucked off with all the we Malmsteen gathered. fanboys going, it's the best thing ever. It's no, it's fucking not. A million <laughs> notes a second doesn't make you good. Oh, this is better than Malmsteen. This, yeah. This shits on anything I've heard Malmsteen do. <laughs> I know that's going to get a response. Good. Um, <laughs> 
Actually, I agree with you. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> it's not that hard. But it's it's all about, like you said, it's not guitar karaoke. These yeah. are composed pieces of music. Mm. And from a classical background, I love composition. Yeah. I don't have to have vocals and lyrics. Mm. I just need to hear a good song yeah. with, you know, a build and a drop and a journey to go on. This has that. It's a small little package, but I hope he does a lot more of these, to yep. be honest. This is really, really cool. So impressive. It's easy to go back and repeat spin. This is one of the ones that I'll actually deliberately go back to and listen mm. to it. I don't do that very often with guitar-based albums mm. at all, but I will do that with this release. Very well put together, well worth checking out. Eight and a half out of ten for me. Creation of a New World and Chaos and Design, my standout. So I think we've just about covered off the entire list there. Yeah. Check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think. Brand Burns, Chaos in Design. I don't know. This might be my artwork for the year. Yeah. That's fucking good artwork. It was cool. No. I don't remember the artwork. Brand Burns. Yeah, it's hmm. a it's a digital thing. It fits hmm. the whole thing perfectly. Yeah, I don't remember watching the artwork. No, it's um it's from, I can't even really describe it. It's hard to it's almost like a globe within two hands, but that's actually not right. But that's the sort of visual it invokes, but if it, not actually that thing at all. It's, it's, it's weird, but it's cool. I liked it. Like two kittens fighting under a blanket, but not at all. <laughs> <laughs> On speed. <laughs> right. All right, shall we? We shall. I hate guitar wankery albums. <laughs> Fucking hate them. It can be done really well. but It can be, mm. but it's often not. Nah, true. I don't listen to a lot of them. Wolf Hoffman's was the last one that really got my attention because it had actual string mm. elements and stuff going on. That was like, okay, mm. this is cool. And it was all about the song, not mm. about, you oh, can do a fucking mm. million notes a minute. It's like, I don't give a fuck how many notes you can play. Mm. There's no feel. There's no soul. Yeah, you can play a million notes a minute, but it's not really impressive anymore because you can watch some nine-year-old kid do it on Facebook. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's the vibe. Vibe of the thing. It's the vibe. Yeah. It's the Marbo. Carcass. Fucking, <laughs> fucking brilliant. Carcass. You're leading off with car. I think you should lead off with carcass. Yeah, yeah, I think you should okay. lead off with carcass. <laughs> this is your punch, Sean. All right. Ready? Yeah. <coughs>